mask has slipped. Hiding in plain sight, the director general of the BBC, Tim Davey, told staff in a private meeting the corporation should be proud to be progressive. The Daily Telegraph newspaper have got their hands on a recording of the BBC boss saying the Beeb walks a joyous tightrope of the culture wars and said being progressive was something that staff should be proud of. Now, this won't surprise viewers and listeners to the BBC, whose output is suffused with woke ideology, whether it's Doctor Who with its finger-wagging, politically correct storylines, a perceived bias in its news output, and the unfiltered views of its highest-paid star, Gary Lineker, who is probably the wokest man in Britain with his luxury beliefs on illegal immigration and climate change, the real-world consequences from which he is nicely insulated. The BBC may be a national organisation, but it is steeped in the North London progressive groupthink, which says that Brexit is terrible, Britain's history is shameful and patriotism is embarrassing. Remember those breakfast show presenters laughing at a politician who was sat next to our national flag? It's an organisation that tried to scrap land of hope and glory from last night of the proms and flogged a nice bit of trans ideology with a female nurse preparing for a double mastectomy to become a boy in an episode of Casualty without properly featuring the potential downsides of such a procedure. EastEnders was used during the pandemic to flog vaccinations, which may have saved many lives. But one of the characters expressing some concerns about the vaccine and daring to decide whether or not he would have the jab suffered a massive pylon from the other characters in what felt like Orwellian state propaganda. And in the wake of Steve Wright's relegation to weekends before his sad passing, we've seen the BBC's war on older talent that appear to be seen by bosses as male, pale and stale. What about the departure of Ken Bruce, whose great crime was having the most listened to radio show in Europe? He didn't tick any progressive boxes, though, did he, Ken Bruce? Which is why I suspect he's gone. The BBC risks the accusation of being institutionally woke, not helped by the words of their leader. And don't take my word for it. A new poll has found that working class viewers are turning off the BBC because they find it too woke. The policy research business Public First found that a perception of political correctness in BBC news coverage means a significant minority of working class viewers are going elsewhere. This is bad news for the BBC, which I want to survive and I want to thrive. I love the BBC. I just want it to be politically and culturally neutral and for everyone. With an extraordinary brass neck, a spokesperson from the BBC told The Telegraph that the Director General meant progressive in relation to areas like market-led technological change and that any other interpretation is wrong. Bloody hell, this is gaslighting in the extreme. Market-led technological change, where do they get that from? Do they really think we're that stupid? Davies' comments were clearly based around the theme of political balance, as per the rest of his remarks. And his answer was a response to an internal question from a colleague about whether the BBC needs to be less woke. To which he says being progressive and diverse is something they should be proud. Well, let me tell you that I am a bit woke myself. Yes, I am. I'm a great believer in diversity. I've got a diverse team. What do I believe in? Diversity of thought, diversity of opinion, of background, of gender, of culture, of sex. You name it. Race. Bring it on. Diversity with a small d is something that most people would support. What they don't support is needless box ticking in which the BBC seems to specialise. So, Tim Davies says the BBC is proud to be progressive. Would that include the BBC Radio 5 Live presenter, Nihal Arthanyaika, who declared proudly that working with a team that is predominantly white was bad for his mental health? He said, it's really affecting me that I walk in and all I see is white people. Crumbs. Did Nihal not face censure or punishment? Did they have a firm word? Was he fired? Of course not, because it is progressive and yes, woke to see everything through the narrow prism of race, even if it means that what you're saying is categorically and undeniably in that case actually racist. 
How so? Well, can you imagine if a white presenter said that it affects their mental health working with people of color? The P45 would be headed their way before they had finished the sentence. And rightly so. Not so much at the progressive BBC. And I'm so glad that the boss, Tim Davey, has now admitted it. What sticks in the craw is that you're paying for this, for a narrow set of politically correct and often radical ideas, which the politics professor Matthew Goodwin suggests is shared by a little more than 10 percent of the population. Well, that means that in time, the 90 percent will find somewhere else to watch their TV and listen to their radio. A good place to start would be this show, Mark Dolan Tonight. Why? Well, because it's balanced, it's fair, and most importantly, it doesn't cost you a penny. That's what I call progressive.